What if tomorrow the world woke up to a terrifying announcement? An asteroid is on a direct collision course with Earth. There is no second chance. There is no escape. You have just 24 hours to prepare for the end of the world. How would humanity react to such a cosmic doomsday scenario? Would we be able to survive the impact of an asteroid big enough to destroy everything? Stay with us as we simulate step-by-step step what would really happen in this doomsday scenario. Let's start the timer. We are 24 hours away from impact. The asteroid is about 1.5 kilometers wide and is hurtling through space at a speed of 7,500 kilometers per hour. It will strike our planet in less than one day. Scientists estimate that even a one kilometer wide asteroid could wipe out entire nations. But the asteroid heading towards us is bigger and it's definitely capable of triggering a global catastrophe. In fact, according to NASA, an asteroid of this size strikes the Earth only once every million years. The last time something similar happened was 66 million years ago. Back then, an asteroid named Chicxulub with a diameter of 10 kilometers crashed into our planet. As a result, almost all life on Earth vanished, giving way to the dinosaurs. But that's ancient history. How would the world react if it were to happen today? We are 12 hours away from impact. The first thing you'd notice is a small bright spot in the sky. At first glance, it may resemble a fallen star or a distant planet, but in reality, it's the asteroid that has entered our planet's atmosphere. As it gets closer, the air around it begins to heat up, causing the rock to burn up and leave a glowing trail in its wake. People on the street look up and point at the unusual sight. Many take photos and videos and post them on social networks. The hashtag asteroid quickly becomes a top trend worldwide. In major cities, people begin to panic. The authorities immediately sounded the alarm and announced a state of emergency. Governments scramble to evacuate their citizens from the affected areas, but transport quickly becomes unavailable. Tickets for flights abroad are sold out in minutes. Roads are jammed with cars. Airports are packed with people, but there are not enough planes and not enough seats for everyone. At NASA, experts are making their final calculations. They know that there is no way to stop the asteroid. There are simply no technologies capable of dealing with a celestial body of this size. All they can do is try to choose the best impact site. Perhaps somewhere in the ocean, perhaps on uninhabited islands. But no matter where the asteroid hits, no one will be safe. With each passing minute, the tension rises. The countdown clock shows six hours until impact, now the asteroid is clearly visible from almost anywhere on the planet. Its size seems to grow before our very eyes. People continue to photograph it and share the pictures on social media. Someone makes jokes. Someone preaches that this is God's punishment. Religious people organize prayers for the salvation of mankind. Others rummage through the apocalypse survival guides. Some retreat to their homes and board up windows and doors. Others grab their loved ones and head to the hills. There is also panic in the ranks of animals. Birds fall down from the sky in a fit of panic. Large groups of wild animals are seen running along highways. We are four hours away from impact. Sirens wail in the cities. People are desperately trying to flee. Major airports are in chaos. Flights are delayed, then canceled. A sense of impending doom hangs in the air. It feels like the whole world is holding its breath. We are two hours away from impact. Suddenly, a blinding white light breaks through the clouds. The air grows hot. People shield their eyes, squinting against the glare. The asteroid has entered the atmosphere and is rapidly losing altitude. Within minutes, it will touch the ground. And then, the moment arrives. The asteroid slams into Earth with the force of millions of nuclear bombs. The ground trembles. Shock waves ripple across continents. A blinding fireball engulfs the skies. People scream and fall to their knees. The heat is unbearable. Everything around bursts into flames. Days turn into nights. Sunlight disappears. Crops fail. Civilization collapses. Humanity faces extinction. But this is not the end. This is just the beginning. After the impact, 
earthquakes of varying force occur across the planet. Volcanic activity increases. Tsunamis ravage across the oceans. The atmosphere is filled with dust. It blocks sunlight and turns day into night. Temperatures drop sharply. A global winter arrives, snow falls in abundance. But it's not the cold that's the worst of it. The asteroid impact caused a huge amount of debris to be thrown into the atmosphere. This debris, along with dust and smoke, rose more than 30 kilometers into the sky. Such a thick layer blocked most of the sun's rays, plunging the planet into darkness. Within a few weeks after the impact, temperatures around the world dropped by an average of five to eight degrees. But since the impact winter would last several years, plants would eventually die off due to lack of sunlight. Large trees, shrubs, and vines would be the last to die. And the death of such a large number of plants would lead to the extinction of the animals that feed on them. Most of the Earth's inhabitants would die. Only bacteria and other microorganisms would survive. Humanity would be on the brink of extinction. Perhaps some people would survive in underground bunkers. But would they be able to save human civilization? Would anything be left for them to save? The asteroid impact would change our planet forever. But in a few million years, it might become just another page in Earth's history. Like when dinosaurs went extinct because of an asteroid. Maybe someday life on our planet will begin to develop anew. But for now, it's definitely worth taking a closer look at what's happening outside the window. After all, this is not just science fiction. Right now, thousands of asteroids roam our solar system. The question is not whether it will happen, but when. If you found this simulation mind-blowing, don't forget to subscribe for more What If Cosmic Scenarios. And tell us in the comments, how would you try to survive an asteroid impact?